All right, so the last video that I made about sales engineering actually started picking up a little bit, which shows me that I think there is an interest in sales engineering. And so in this video, I'm going to go a little deeper into what sales engineering does, what are the skills that are needed, what are the pros, what are the cons, what is the salary breakdown for sales engineers, and also we're gonna be talking about some career paths for sales engineers. But first, if you're new to the channel, if you're just meeting, thank you for joining. My name is Alex Isidro, and here we talk about engineering career and life analysis, and I wanna thank you for joining. And if you like this video, by the way, just give it a like and subscribe to the channel. All right, so to quickly recap the first video that I made about sales engineering, if you don't want to go watch it, I suggest you do because there's a lot of really good info. But if you don't want to go watch it, the quick recap is that sales engineers facilitate the sales process for technologically and scientifically advanced products, whether that is a complicated computer system or mechanical, electrical devices, software, and IT tools. In fact, from the previous video, I did mention that IT and software is probably one of the biggest fields for sales engineers. Also, the role of a sales engineer is typically found in a business-to-business -business setting, and they're tasked with selling, obviously, complex products to other businesses. So they're basically the ones that explain the complex technical features and they make it easy or easier, per se, to understand for people that are not too familiar with all the technical and in intricacies of a certain system. All right, so as a good thing, as a pros, there's a couple of, of them here that I want to mention. And the number one, and these are not in a number of importance, but the number one thing that I want to mention here is the high earning potential. I did mention previously that sales engineers, typically they don't really need a lot of experience. And so they could start at a relatively higher salary than other engineers that just go and do engineering work on a yearly salary. And that's mainly, as we'll see a little later, because they do have, they get paid on commission as well on top of their base salary. So that actually gives sales engineers a little boost in the earning potential. Another pro of being a sales engineer, it's that it's really good for extroverts. If you are an extroverted person, if you draw your energy from being with other people, if you just, if you're a people's person and you just like being out there and going on the field and just dealing with different personalities and helping people solve problems in person or in the call, this is gonna be a really great field for you. And I think this could fit your personality really well. Another thing about sales engineers, another good thing about sales engineers is that they usually have a frequent, a frequent change of scenery. They're really not talking to the same people all the time. Uh, the sales engineers make the sale, obviously, and they move on to the next client and somebody else takes over the customer, quote unquote, experience per se, generally speaking. Also, sales engineers are in the know for the latest technological advances. They basically know what is happening in the market. Well, what's, what's the latest gadget? What's the latest technology? What's going out there? What's the latest and greatest? Another pro of a sales engineer is a strong career option. And a successful sales engineer can write their ticket as a consultant. You can open perhaps your own company. And as a senior sales role, you can also become a regional sales engineer. And so there's gonna be some limitations, of course, depending on what kind of company, what kind of industry you're in. Now, the hours and the work itself can be fairly inconsistent. Uh, obviously, as a sales engineer that you're gonna be on the field a lot, you may be dealing with 40 hours a week, one week, and then the next week, you may be working 60, 70 hours, and then the next week, maybe you have a lot of downtime, so you're only working maybe 30 hours. Also, uh, I know that this is gonna sound a little contradicting, but another disadvantage of being a sales engineer is that when you are on the field a lot, perhaps you're out of sight, out of mind, and so what that could entail is you having less than desired influence on decisions that take place in the company. Maybe if you want to be involved in a certain in the certain decision making, maybe you want to have some influence in the company uh, because you're always out on the field. Nobody's going to see you. And uh, unless you are extremely, extremely good with your sales. And if you're watching this video, I wish you the best and go kill it and become that person that the company really, really depends on to bring the people. Another thing that I want to mention here is the skills. The skills that I think could be very, very valuable in such field. 
And the first one is obviously going to be being adaptable and being able to just adapt to any situation, adapt to dealing with difficult personalities, difficult, uh, difficult people. Uh, also adapt to explaining different pieces of equipment, different technologies. Uh, again, it also depends on what you sell. Sometimes you may be selling like only one particular product or maybe multiple ones, but that may be changing as technology obviously advances and, and the features of the products change. Another thing that I want to mention here is also being a problem solver. And I've said this plenty of times in my channel, engineers are problem solvers we all get paid to solve problems so need i say more on this one now the fourth thing that i want to mention here is people skills and you're gonna be out there you're gonna be dealing with a ton of other individuals and so people skills being 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 presentable being likable being uh, relatable and just being amiable i think they can go a long long ways and so if you are able to establish a relationship establish rapport with your clients i i i don't doubt that you're gonna kill it now a couple other things here for skills also in-depth product knowledge i mean as i mean you may already know that but you obviously have to know your stuff whenever you're talking to people about it and then also the sales knowledge right like there's a lot of psychology and marketing involved well marketing maybe it's a little like separate but when it comes to a lot of sales there is a lot of psychology involved on how you talk to the customer how you persuade the customer how you approach the sale how you close the sale how you open the conversation so there's a lot of things a lot of psych psychological tricks that i'm sure you're going to be trained on when you join a certain company or maybe you already know it based on previous experience but i think those are some some solid skills that i think could be very very valuable for sales engineers now let's talk about career paths and general guidelines again this is going to depend on the company that you're on the industry in which you're on but generally speaking you're going to have a couple of a couple of paths and you're gonna have the senior sales engineer. You also have gonna have the corporate sales engineer. Or you're also gonna have the regional sales engineers. And then you're gonna be going, keep going up the chain when it comes to vice president of sales. The, at that point, you're not really selling anymore. I mean, other people, you're guiding other people and giving instructions to other people so that they can go out there and make things happen. You're gonna be the visionary, quote unquote, per se. The salary breakdown, guys, is really gonna depend on the company. It's gonna depend on what field you're on. And I highly encourage you to actually read your, the job description, read your job offer letter, and that's gonna, tell, that's gonna tell you exactly for your specific situation how you're gonna be dealing with the salary breakdown. So if you are thinking about sales engineering, maybe this is a great fit for you because of your personality, you love selling, maybe you already have some experience in selling from previous jobs, I think it could be a great fit for you. And uh, if that's you, then best of luck, good luck on your journey. And remember that you don't have to have an engineering degree in order to be a sales engineer. A lot of the times a STEM degree will do it, or sometimes even if you already have the sales experience, you can become a sales engineer and you would just have to basically learn the many details of and knowing how to communicate technical concepts and put them into simple terms for so other people can understand your clients of course all right guys so that's all i wanted to share in this video thank you for watching like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one